Dead. Hey, Motor Man here. I've got a great tip for you this week. I see so many people or hear about people who lower their motorcycle because they want to get their feet closer to the ground. I understand that. Uh, unlike me, I'm six foot two. I don't have to worry about that. Okay, I'm five seven, but still, I really don't have to worry about that. But the best thing to do instead of lowering your motorcycle is to get a lower seat. And it's not just a low seat that you need. There are many custom seats that are very low and get your feet to the ground, but when the seat comes down lower, if the seat doesn't move you forward, you're gonna be too far away from the handlebars, which is gonna make it very difficult to turn those bars at low speeds and get full lock turns if you happen to need full lock, but even a half turn is gonna be difficult if the seat is too low and does not push you forward. So I happen to have a, a huge collection. By the way, I'm not selling any of these. I'm gonna tell you what they are. We've got five different seats here that I'm gonna show you, and I'm gonna have my wife demonstrate them on the motorcycle because she's five foot three and her legs are kinda of short, but you're gonna see which ones put her closest to the ground and closest to the bars. And we're gonna start with this seat. This is a standard Road King seat, and this is from a 2019 Road King. I purchased this on Craigslist, I don't know, for about 150 bucks, something like that. And I, I'm not sure, I believe it was 2014, Harley changed some of their seats, and what they did was they made them narrower here, which gets your feet closer to the ground, and they moved this part of the seat up just a bit. So even a stock seat on a Road King, comes with the motorcycle, get your feet pretty close to the ground. This next seat, this is from an ultra low. This is somewhere between a Harley reach seat that they call it and the super reach seat. On this motorcycle right here is the super reach seat. My wife likes that because it brings her nice and close to the bars and also it keeps her very low. Did you get that camera lady? I got it. Okay. okay. This next one, this is a Harley Davidson seat that comes standard on the new Electra Glide standard. It's narrow in the front on the sides here. It's low here, but it brings you a little bit forward. So for a person, I would say oh, five, six and, and taller, this seat is fine. But I'm gonna show you the differences on the seat and what you can do just by changing the seat rather than spending all that money lowering the motorcycle with different shocks or if you get one of those cheap gadgets that you put on the back shocks and it, it you're ruining your motorcycle, you're destroying the ride. Harley Davidson's like this have three inches of travel on the rear shocks. You lower it just one inch that gives you two inches of travel. If you put a fill up the bike with gear or put a passenger on, the ride is gonna be extremely rough. The bike is gonna bottom out over just about every bump, so you wanna avoid that. And in addition, it limits your lean angle. Now, Harley-Davidson Street Glides come with a one inch shorter shock in the back. And I get on those bikes and I notice immediately how limited that lean angle really is. It probably adds a couple of feet to your turning radius. So now I'm gonna have my wife sit on first this bike with the Super Reach Seat and show you what it looks like. All right, this is my wife, Donna. She is, as I said, five foot three. Uh, her inseam, I'm gonna guess, is probably about 26 inches at the most. And she's got the Super Reach Seat. She's at a really good angle with the handlebars. She can turn the bars easily from side to side. If you've seen her in videos, she has no problem with that. And she's got a shoe right now with about, I guess I'd call that an inch and a, inch and a half. half. Yeah, she, inch and a half. <laughs> That's an inch and a half heel. And she's almost completely flat-footed. If, if you're sit up just a little bit, you're completely flat-footed. Okay, yes. now the only problem with this seat for men is the horn of the seat right there where she's got her hand you know for guys it's it's kind of painful i don't recommend that even if you're a five foot three or five foot four you're much better off with a different seat and i'm going to show you the seat you should use for that but before i do i'm going to have her get off this bike and she's going to get on the electric glide now this is my 2020 electric glide the seat that's on here is from a street glide. Now, this is from, a, I believe, a 2014 street glide. At that time, they made their seats a little bit wider and it hardly pushed you forward at all. I understand that on the newer motorcycles, so if you buy a newer street glide seat, and like you said, you find them on 
uh, Craigslist or eBay pretty reasonable. I think I paid about $125 for this one. Now this is a little bit wide for her. That means her legs are wider apart and it's, as you can see, I'm gonna get a close up of her shoe. She's just on her toes with that seat. That's at five foot three and a 26 inch inseam. So if you're that short, I don't recommend this seat for you. Make sure if you're gonna get a street glide seat and they're plentiful on the market, you wanna get one from a later model. I think they may have changed it in 2017 or 2018. So if uh, you're gonna buy one, make sure you try it on your bike first to find out if it's good enough for you. And now I'm gonna switch seats and show you something else. Now this is the Electroglide standard seat. I don't know the part number, but uh, you could find this in the Harley catalog. That's how I found it. I was at the dealership. I looked through the catalog, found the one that was on the streak, the standard uh, electric glide, and I compared it, opened the box to make sure, yes, that was in fact the, uh, the, the correct seat that came on that bike. And the reason I say that is because I got on the electric glide standard and I made sure it was low enough and it was a good height for me. And I'm gonna have my wife get on here. By the way, if you have a problem straightening your motorcycle off the kickstand, simply turn the handlebars all the way to the right. That takes the weight off the stand and makes it much easier to get the bike up. Now the bars, by the way, on the 2020 models, they, came, they now come with Road King bars. These bars have more pullback. In other words, the distance from here to the grips is a little bit longer than the past years, probably about two to three inches. The good news about that is if you're taller, you can push them forward. They've got about another inch and a half to go forward. Or if you're shorter, you can adjust the bars down a bit to make the handlebars closer to your body. Because the closer they are to your body, the more uh, leverage you have to turn the bars. Now, how's this feeling, Donna? It's a bit better. It's not as wide. My legs aren't as it's wide. It's not as wide as the street glide seat. Is yeah. that right? Yeah. It's, it's got a narrow nose. That means, it, and the sides of the seat are narrow so that you can get your feet down pretty easily. She's almost, almost flat-footed on that. That's, that would be good enough. Would you consider that good enough yes, for you? I okay. can do it. All right, let's try another one. All right, and this is the ultra low seat. Got this on Craigslist for about 150 bucks. It's not quite as severe pushing you forward as the super reach seat. Remember, this is the super reach seat. The back of this seat right here pushes you quite a bit forward, probably about an inch more forward than the seat that came with the ultra low. And like I said, for guys, this is not the best thing because you don't have much space between here and here. This seat, you got probably an inch and a half more room, no discomfort here for a guy. And it pushes you plenty close. Like I said, this is about the equivalent of the standard Harley Reach seat. I'll have my wife get on there. Okay. And she's almost flat footed. So I, I'd say that's no problem for her. She's plenty close to the bars, especially now with these, with the bars, the Road King bars now on the uh, electric light or touring models that allow you to adjust them down. I haven't adjusted, this is how it came stock. I'd really like to bring it down about an inch and a half to make it perfect for me to uh, maneuver the bike and make full lock turns. But it is kind of a nightmare to get to the bolts on this motorcycle to adjust that, so. I'm gonna do it one day when I really feel ambitious. And we've got one more to show you. This seat is come standard on a 2019, 2020 Road Kings. Not the Road King Special, but the regular Road King. It has a narrow, from here to here, it's fairly narrow. That means you can get your legs down. It's pretty low and it doesn't crush you, you know what. As far as pushing you forward, well, over past models, I'd say it pushes you a good inch forward than, say, a 2012 Road King seat. And I think it's, you know, for me, it's fine. I'll have my wife get on there, see how she feels about that one. Not bad. It's not, not a little higher. 
You think it's higher than the yeah, last seat? Yeah, my feet aren't planted. Um, I think it's because it doesn't push you as, as far forward. Yeah, maybe that. But yeah. you wouldn't have a problem riding that bike oh, and yeah. turning the bars. No, now on this Road King, I've, I've adjusted the bars. Oh, excuse me, this is the Elixir Glide. I have not adjusted them yet. I, I think I will sooner or later because they should be down uh, probably an inch and a half. And by taking these bars and adjusting them down, that brings them closer to the rider. So that's what we've got for you. As far as comfort, it's so subjective. All these seats I've ridden on just about every one of them, uh, except for this one, for at least two hours. And I have no problem with them. I think they're comfortable enough. And it's not that I'm pushing Harley Davidson seats here, folks. There's plenty of seat manufacturers out there. And you know some of them may make seats uh, more comfortable, but these seats were designed for the motorcycle and for a certain purpose, usually to get your feet lower to the ground. Don't lower that motorcycle. Engineers have spent thousands of hours making this bike as low as possible. In fact, making all their bikes as low as possible and giving you the best compromise between ride and handling and as, as also styling. By lowering the bike, well, it's like taking all those engineers and saying, yeah, you may have had a good idea, but I got a better one. And it never works out that way. I understand now, too, they stopped making the uh, low models of the, the motorcycles, Harley Ultra Low, etc. At least I don't see them on their website. They may come back with them. But if you're a shorter rider, the first thing you want to do is get a seat that fits you better and adjust your handlebars before you lower the motorcycle. Till next time.